Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video and this is a project for the Scrap FX design team. So I'm playing in the Craft Junk Journal kit and I'm actually for this page going to be creating on a piece of craft cardstock which I'm going to then stick into this page here. I'm going to create on this uh, spread here. So the reason I'm doing this is I wanted a bit more space than that one single page would give me because I was going to be using the Dahlia stamp from Scrap FX. So I'm starting off by adding some collage paper onto this background. Um, this is one of the many um, collage papers from Scrap FX that have got text on. This is a bit like um, a typewriter type of text. So I'm going to be sticking this in place using some gel medium. Um, so once that was dry, I'm then starting off to create um, a rainbow effect pattern on the page, but basically um, in a circle. So I'm going to start off with Ruby in the centre of my page and then work around that in circular shapes. So you can see then this is ta uh, tangerine, then lemon. And each time in between, I'm washing my brush, giving it a little bit of a dry so it's not too wet. Then this is lime, turquoise, blackberry. This is my favourite purple, it's so pretty. And it blends so nicely with the turquoise as well. And then I'm just brushing it out a little bit further as you can see. And then magenta, just to finish off those circles. Then I am using some uh, black acrylic paint and a blending tool and I'm adding some paint onto the stamp. I'm adding plenty of paint on there because um, sometimes these stamps can just soak up the paint a little bit. So um, I'm going to stamp that into the centre of my um, page, pressing on really well. And then I'm going to stamp it again on the other half of the page and it will create a really nice flower shape. So this is a really simple way to create quite an um, effective, effective page. It's quite um, striking with the colour and the pattern and the shapes. I decided I would just extend it a little bit further. So kind of copying what's already there. I'm just adding some more um, shapes around the Dahlia stamp. And then once this is dry, I'm then going to go in using Posca pens uh, um, in black and Signo Uniball in white and also a white Posca pen and just adding some marks and patterns onto the petals just to create a little bit of contrast on the flower. So I'll let you just watch this bit rather than me rattling on. Um, I'll just leave it for you to watch.
So once I'd finished adding in my black and white contrast, I'm then using the magenta paint and adding some splatters onto the page too, just around the edges in the magenta and also in black as well. And then I was just working out where I was going to write my words and I decided they would work quite well going around the outside of the flower. So that's where I popped them. And then giving them a quick dry in between just to make sure that I don't smudge those words that I've just written because <laughs> that's one of my favourite things to do. So this is a really easy way to create quite a, quite a colourful um, page with lots of contrast. Um, it was lots of fun to do. And then I'm just using my um, double sided tape gun and adding some of tape onto this page. This is where I'm going to stick my um, piece of craft cardstock that I've been working on. And I've now got a fold out page for my journal. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this on this lovely piece of craft cards using the Dahlia stamp from Scrap FX. Um, lots of colours as well. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.